All right, the panel is here. Tony Katz and Kevin Wallings are both here. Uh, Tony, I'll go to you first. We've seen a shift in this race. Mandela Barnes was up, and now he's down by six points. And a lot of folks say it's because of the issue of crime. Yeah, the, the whole defund the police conversation, and we've heard many times, look at what the progressive left has done, look at the legislation that's passed, look at the money that's been spent. They said defund the police, and it stuck. And Representative Cory Bush uh, said just last week, people say, uh, use the term re reallocate, use the term move the money, but it's all the same thing. They actually believe in not having a police force on the ground that does the job. They don't believe in pursuing criminals. That's what John Fetterman in Pennsylvania uh, said when he was at least engaging in, in some cogent conversations. This is the problem. They put it out there. It's stuck, and they're very upset that it has. Kevin, what about that and the reaction from the panel there that I had? Um, everyone had to admit crime is a major issue. Yeah, Lawrence, I, I love the panel from Milwaukee. I wish you would put Thank me you, in brother. touch with Kathy. I think we need to use her in some of these TV ads coming up. But listen, <laughs> when you look at uh, actual police funding and who's actually increasing budgets for law enforcement across the board in all these communities, it's Democrats. We devoted $350 billion as part of the American Rescue Plan that went uh, in many ways directly to uh, law enforcement to hire more cops, to hire more cops back. We just passed a police reform package just two weeks ago that would increase funding. So when you look at what is actually being legislated, especially on the national level, it's by President Biden and the Democrats working single-handedly to increase these funds. Wow. This is... Go ahead, Kevin. This real is quick. a maddening argument, Kevin, because you keep pushing the same argument, and it's lovely, but it isn't true in the cities. The cities are run by the progressive left. The prosecutors don't prosecute. The cops feel hamstrung. They tried to defund and then realized it didn't work and then tried to put money back. But the attitude is the same, and that can't go away, and it is a player in these midterms. I want to move on. But, Tony, you just want to play politics with this. The seven states that have I, the highest murder rates in this country are states that voted for Donald Trump. This is a problem across the board. It's not just the inner cities. And we need to be honest with the American people. It's affecting rural areas, suburban areas. And you have one party that's actually trying to increase funding right now in Congress. You're and that's the party the Democrats. that says defund. How dare you be upset with I'm me not. For I fundamentally reject that as a Democrat. And so does the president, the leader of my party. All right. So I don't let's, believe that to be true. I, I love it. Let's talk about the president because it seems like no one in his party wants to campaign for him. Um, and now you have Warnock saying this. Watch the pastor. I've not spent a minute thinking about what politicians should run for what in 2024. You haven't thought about it. If you can think about it now in 2024, the president will turn 82 years old. Are you concerned about his physical and the, his mental the, fitness at that time? The, you have 30 seconds. The people of Georgia hired me to represent them, regardless of who's in the White House. So he just can't preach. He can spin. Uh, he does not want to be in connection with the president. Uh, Kevin, why? Well, he's just one of them. And we saw this on, <laughs> on the right with Donald Trump and not wanting to go to the suburbs and stuff like that. He's got to focus on Georgia and the race that he's got to win. And just now, 24 days from now, early voting starts in the Peach State uh, on Monday. But listen, the president is on a campaign swing right now. He's out in Oregon, which is actually an interestingly tight race with a Republican challenger for that governor's seat uh, that's overperforming. He was just in uh, Colorado in a tight Senate race uh, out there with Michael Bennett. So the president is crisscrossing the country. This is one particular race in Georgia, but you're going to see the president out there in full steam ahead campaigning up and down the ballot for, for Democrats. Look, fellas, I got to go, but I'll tell you this. Last time I checked, People wanted to campaign with Trump. They wanted to campaign with Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush. And it doesn't seem like the case with Joe Biden. You just got to ask yourself why. I'll see you all next week.